Praise the Lord. This is Dr. C. Dexter Wise III, and welcome to the video version of Every Day with Dr. Wise, where you get a mighty message in three minutes or less. You already know that for nearly three years, I've been writing to you every day, but for this series, I want to talk to you. I want to talk to you about something that's very important, very powerful, especially around this time of the year. You probably already know that the highest grossing holiday in the American calendar is Christmas. People spend more money and uh, spend more time getting ready for Christmas than any other holiday in the year. But did you know what was second? If you guess Mother's Day, you would be wrong. The second highest grossing holiday is not Mother's Day, Father's Day, Children's Day, Labor Day. It's Halloween. Did you get that? Halloween. The highest grossing holiday is the celebration of the birth of Jesus. And the second one is the celebration of demons, spirits, and so on and so forth. That's why I think it's important right now for us to talk about the devil. And in particular, about the tricks that he has to be able to wind us in, to bring us in, and to bring us down. And so for the next several sessions, we're going to be talking about the tricks of the devil. And we're going to call this series Trick or Trick. Now, it's going to be based on Genesis chapter 3, uh, that powerful chapter which is the beginning of so many things, and what we're going to do is look at that chapter and see some things that we learn about the devil, what kind of tricks he has, and how he not only helped Adam and Eve to fall, how he'll do the same thing for us. But before I get to the tricks of the devil as such, I want to tell you a little bit about him, and the first thing I want to tell you about him is the most fundamental thing about him, and that is he is a liar. He is a liar. And Jesus uh, kind of blows his cover in John chapter 8, verse 44, when he says, not only is he a liar, but he doesn't have any truth in him at all. And when you look at this, when you think about him, here are three things I want you to think about the devil before we actually get to his specific tricks. Number one, he is the father of lies. His most fundamental trick is to lie. He is the father of lies. He's the first person that ever lied in the Bible. So he's the father of lies. Secondly, he is the fueler of lies. I don't know if that's a word, but he gives fuel to lies. He fans the flames of lies. He keeps lies going. The lies about your self-esteem, the lies about your past, the lies about your future, the lies about your possibility, the lies about your potential. He fuels those lies to keep those lies going. That's why Jesus said the truth shall set you free because he's been perpetuating these lies. Then the last thing I want you to hear about his lies is that he is the fixer or fashioner of of lies. He is the best person in the whole wide world to decorate lies to make them look like the truth. When I think about the devil and his lies, I think about Forrest Gump's friend Bubba. You remember Forrest Gump's friend Bubba who had the shrimp boat and he was telling Forrest Gump about all the shrimp that he had, you know, and all the different ways you could cook shrimp. It's barbecue shrimp, it's shrimp scampi, it's fried shrimp, it's uh, stuffed shrimp, it's uh, raw shrimp, I mean shrimp, 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 shrimp. But the bottom line is, it's all shrimp. And that's the same way with the lies of the devil. No matter how he decorates them, no matter how he fashions them, they're all shrimp. The only difference is they have different seasons, they have different sauces, and they come in different styles. But the bottom line is shrimp. The bottom line is he is a liar and the truth is not in him. He's the father of lies. He's the fashioner of lies. He's the fueler of lies. And one thing I want you to learn in this series as we talk about the tricks of the devil, don't get caught into the tricks of the devil. Don't be tricked by him. Trust God. See you next time.